This first question is perhaps the most common one that we've received, and it is, what is digital up conversion? And also as a follow-up, how does it compare to more traditional approaches for generating modulated microwave signals? Steve, do you think you can answer that? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. So in quantum computing, the, uh, uh, the control pulses and the readout pulses that we generate are, are usually generated with some kind of uh, baseband signal that we modulate or up convert to a higher frequency. And uh, there's several ways to do that. The, um, the easiest way to do that is simple amplitude modulation, where we mix um, a sine wave carrier of a high frequency with the baseband signal um, using a, a local oscillator, LO signal. Um, and when we do that, um, it's a straightforward shift setup and frequency, but it generates two separate copies or bands, uh, images of the baseband signal. And you need to reject one of those or select out the one that you want. And doing that requires um, a filter that's located at just the right spot in frequency. So if you're generating, if you're up converting to different frequencies, you need different filters to do that. An alternative to that is using IQ modulation. And with IQ modulation, um, you actually generate two signals, an I and a Q. You modulate them up um, with two LO signals that are in quadrature, add them together, and you can get the unwanted image to cancel out. So you're only left with the one you want. So that saves you from having to have a bunch of filters, uh, a selectable filters uh, for covering multiple frequency bands. And that works really well, but it takes um, some expensive analog hardware to do that IQ mixing. And it also um, require, it often requires some significant calibration and it's um, it's hard to keep it uh, the the LO generation and the mixers stable enough that you don't have to recalibrate them periodically. So with digital up conversion or DUC, uh, you we do that IQ mixing and the LO generation digitally. So it's all we take the waveforms, uh, generate the LO, we do the mixing, sum it all together, so we get the final. Uh, digital signal at a high frequency, then we then convert to analog. And that has a variety of benefits. Uh, one of the main ones is since the whole gen, uh, LO generation and mixing process is uh, digital, it's a mathematical process. And we don't have to worry about align phase alignments and, and amplitude stabilities and those kinds of things. So that, that's the biggest advantage. I, I should mention that um, we do get questions of, um, oh, is that digital up conversion? Is that just um, using uh, higher Nyquist zones? And no, that's, that's a different process. That process uses a special um, uh, D to A converter uh, that can generate multiple images at multiple Nyquist zones. Um, and then once you've done that, then you can filter out or select the, the band that you want, the, the Nyquist zone that you want to use. Um, again, that has the, um, the drawback of needing a filter um, up at a higher frequency, and then you need multiple filters depending on which band that you're using. So, um, so digital up conversion is not that. It, um, it's, it's a different thing. And, and I'll, I'll mention one other thing about digital up conversion. It has a, a variety of um, advantages. Another one uh, is that because the LO generation is uh, digital, it's a mathematical process, we can generate change, we can create changes in phase amplitude um, uh, almost instantaneously. With a, a conventional analog LO generation, you want the, the LO to be very stable. And to do that, you design it in a way that doesn't allow it to change quickly. So with, um, with the digital LO generation, um, you can do things like generate a, a fast sequence of um, pulse on envelopes with a carrier underneath. And then um, in between those pulses, quickly switch the phase between all of the pulses. Great, thank you so much for that in-depth explanation. But this was all for the up conversion. So can you tell us, is the down converter also all digital? With the down conversion, it's actually easier because we're, we, you can down convert from 
any band at a high frequency down to a single low band. And then you only need the one filter at the low band because the output always goes to the same place. So that's easier to do. So we use um, a conventional um, analog mixing process or, or, or modulation um, for the, the down converter. Uh, however, I will say for um, our down converter, we still use the same um, um, high frequency DAC IC to generate the LO that we use in our up conversion. So that has an advantage in that in all of the modules spread out throughout the system, they're all clocked from the same analog clock and they're all using the same numerically controlled oscillator to generate the sine waves. So we can guarantee that no matter what frequency you're at, that all the LOs for up converting and down converting can all be at exactly the same frequency and we can set them to exactly the same phase. Got it. Thanks for the answer there, Steve. 